I wonder what it was that drew you to this character, but also how important it was to tell not just this character's story, but also the ladies in the context of history and giving them kind of their dues, if you like. Yeah, well, it was, she's based, Amelia is based on this incredible French aeronaut called Sophie Blanchard, who I became totally obsessed with, who um, used to fly at night alone and set off fireworks from the balloon and eventually actually killed herself by setting off fireworks and then the balloon caught fire and she fell to her death by hitting some roofs in Paris. Um, so without that bit of the story, but we took all the sort of, she was a real wildcat basically so we took all of those fun elements from her character and put them into Amelia. Take, take us through how excited you were to get back you know into your action shoes because I was watching it and I was only falling out my seat like with all the stuff you were doing. I know it is quite I, when it's funny when you watch the film with other people and you can see everyone moving and sort of literally sitting on the edge of their seats as they're watching it but I yeah I weirdly I was desperate to do some more action and and even though it's one of the most phys physically challenging experiences I've ever had I I seemingly want to come back for more, which probably makes me a bit of a glutton for punishment. We have to ask you about Eddie again. I mean, you know, not just together again, but literally together again in a little basket. What, what's that special rapport you have with him? Yeah, we just, um, I think we have a real shorthand with each other. I think there's a lot of respect. Uh, we have a good sense of humour. You know, these there's long shoots and to be stuck in that tiny basket, you'd have to be stuck with the right person. So. I'm very lucky that I was stuck with Eddie. <laughs> is it much of a sorry? Is it much of a challenge when there's kind of a two-hander? Because we were speaking to Jonathan Price about the two popes, and now it's him and Anthony Hopkins, and in this one it's you and Eddie. I mean, is that more of a challenge as an actor than you've done before? Or? I think, yeah, it's a different kind of challenge. It sort of becomes a bit like a little play in in many ways. Um, and we were lucky on this; we had a lot of rehearsals, so we could work a lot of things out. And a lot of it, they're just they're just literally in the basket. So you're like, how do you make this exciting? How do you keep cutting back? And it'd be interesting, and that came from you know finding different levels, keep moving around, and that definitely came from rehearsal. And I think yeah, it's definitely a more intense experience when it's just the two of you. The pressure is more. Are you actually any good with, with heights yourself? Um, I used to be, but now after this film, I've been scarred for life. I'm never going up in one of those balloons ever again. <laughs> That's it. I'm done. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!